Well, if the chief executive of Greg's has gone vegan, you know something big must be happening. It's thought that at least a quarter of evening meals in the UK now have no meat or fish and that orders of vegan meals grew by almost 400% between 2016 and last year. Well, that's all good news for plant-only based meal delivery service All Plants, which is currently building the country's largest plant-only kitchen in London. It was founded by brothers JP and Alex Petridis, who are with me now. Gentlemen, great to see you. We last had you on the show yeah. 18 months ago. How have you been trading since then? It's been a busy, busy period. I think, I think just before, uh, just sorry, just after we met you, we had the biggest investment of a, of a vegan company in Europe. So it was since then we've been building the kitchen, we've been growing number of meals, we're now at a million meals. Um, and as you've seen before, colourful, delicious, and that's what it's all about at All Plants. Yeah, you raised seven and a half million pounds from investors. What, what's that gone on then? That's all gone on building this new kitchen, has it? Or... Well, well, really, uh, to make All Plants a success, it's all about the team, Ian. And you met some of the team in the kitchen. I did. Uh, but that was early days, you know, and, and since that, uh, the team has actually almost tripled in size. That's about 18 months ago. Uh, and that's for us to keep up with both how much food we need to cook, but also how we take our, our journey and, and grow allplants.com to many other people, UK-wide and, and soon beyond that. So you brought in some venture capital investors as part of that process. I mean, are, are their values completely aligned with yours? They're not going to be sort of saying, right, we want you to sell no. up any time in the no, future? No, no. Right, well, right from the beginning, we decided to become a B Corp. Um, which actually means that we're not just purely profit-oriented, but we're also about the people and about the planet. And that's really important for our whole mission. Because right now, you know, 57% of the UK are considering switching to a plant-based diet. But it's really important that we hold on to those ethics and those personal touches within our business. Yeah. And actually, the venture, venture capital has been so supportive of that. And, you know, may it continue as we grow. Ian, the thing that you've probably noticed is that the climate crisis is, is a real thing. And it's here to stay, unfortunately. Uh, and what we're seeing more and more, that it just makes good business sense to go after this. Climate crisis is the biggest investment opportunity of our generation. So, so we're actually finding that not only do we get a lot of support, but there is real buy-in to the ethos we stand for. You think that's really encouraging people to go vegan, then? It, yeah, it is. So uh, that 57% of people who are considering switching, the actual, the first biggest reason is health. Obviously, huge health potential for eating a more plant-based diet. But the second one now, compared to years ago, is the environment. And actually, what we've learned is, even if you switch people in a small way, so two days a week, if, if every Brit mm. went, went vegan for two days a week, after a year, we would have saved enough carbon to reduce the amount of cars on the road by 54%. Are you particularly agnostic about who's buying the food? I mean, would you like them to be out and out vegans or are you quite happy selling to people who are just experimenting with vegan dishes? Actually, that, from the very start, we were so surprised uh, because around 60% of our customers UK-wide don't call themselves vegan, vegetarian, no labels at all. They just want to eat a little bit healthier, try out this new plant-based thing, give it a go. Um, you know, we encourage it. We've, we've now started calling it vegan-ish or plant-curious, whatever floats your boat. Um, you know, our, our challenge is just to try and make it as delicious as possible for you and bring in all the flavours and creativity so you can actually really enjoy it. And with, with all plants, you know, we, we're putting walnuts into a bolognese and that's all simmering up beautifully. We're creating creams out of cashews. We've just launched desserts, which are really indulgent, have oh salted caramel in. So really, what yeah. we're trying to show is it's not about monk-like dedication. Okay. It's about right. flavour, and I'm, I'm feeling Guys, hungry now. Guys, got to cut you off there. Thanks for, thanks for joining me. That's it from me. You've been watching In King Live. There's video content and analysis on the business pages of the Sky News website. Next up, it's the Sarah J. Misto. Do stay tuned for that. I'm back tomorrow. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.